What I'm going to show you is a series of steps uh, that you could use to mount an Adafruit TEC thermoelectric cooler to an ASI 120 MC imager. The results are spectacular and uh, I hope this little video gives you a, an idea on how to go about doing this very task. Enjoy. Okay, what's necessary is to put a plate on here so we can transfer, uh, move the heat from there using this plate, which then mounts like that. And it'll mate with this plate, which as I'll show you, goes onto the TEC unit. Here you can see the plate mounted on the cold plate of the uh, TEC unit. And uh, this will then mount where I showed you earlier on the back of the uh, ASI 120MC. Okay, I'm running a test on the TEC unit using the regulated power supply, which may or may not be adequate, 13.35 volts. Temperature is at 12.2, it's dropped down from 23.1 within less than three minutes. The control panel, I can switch the uh, TEC unit and the fan independently. And of course, the next step is to test this mounted, the mounting plate cool, onto the back of the uh, ASI120MC. Okay, there's the complete unit mounted on the plate which you saw earlier, which is attached to the ASI120MC, and the cold plate is here. Heat sink, fan, and the control box is here. So now we will uh, do some tests on the uh, effectiveness of this device but I'm going to need a more adequate power supply. Okay, I'm uh, doing some slew tests. I'm going to get ready to uh, turn this thing on. Right now, using fire capture, it will give me a temperature of the, uh, C uh, the uh, CMOS uh, in the ASI120MC. And so I'm going to uh, see how that works. Right now we're at 20 celsius and i'll turn the uh, device on but we're all hooked up ready to go it slews fine and uh, it's tracking just perfectly